Uh, I'm Casper Dams. I am the account manager and brand strategist at Alphabetical. I studied business communications, so it's kind of related. Uh, there was marketing and um, yeah, communications in there. Uh, so I did that, and um, I worked at a after university. I started at marketing a, in the marketing department for Rafa, uh, which is a sportswear brand. Um, then did that for about two and a half years, three years. Um, and then one of the founders from Rafa started up his own agency. Um, so about half a year after he started that, I joined there. Um, did that for a few years and now I've been here for the last year and a half. Uh, yeah, good question. Bit of jack of all trades. Um, so it's, no, the account management part is um, look, working with the rest of the team, uh, setting up the projects when they come in. Um, I'm mainly in charge of creating proposals for everything. Uh, so getting that together, working out how the pro project is going to run, because uh, that changes per project, like different briefs require a different approach. Um, and then set up a schedule and just work with the team to get everything, you know, delivered. Um, from the very, very start, like going to the client, talking to the client about taking a brief, um, asking questions that haven't usually been addressed in the brief, uh, and just figuring everything out, and all the way down to delivery and the final invoice. And then, so that's the account management side, and then the brand strategist side. Um, it's not on every project, uh, it kind of gets brought in if project requires it. Um, but again, it's talking to the client to start with, uh, figuring out what's required um, and how to address their requirement. Um, and we then go into a creative process about figuring out the strategy, um, working with the rest of the team. Uh, again, there is very collaborative. Added to that, that um, I'm not full time, um, like my requirement kind of shifts with the demand for the work. Uh, so that means that um, especially Bob and Tommy have got the day-to-day -day contact with the client uh, and I'm very much in a um, kind of, yeah, I don't want to say oversight role, but oversight role uh, within that. Um, so it's very adaptive to working around that um, and just making sure that they're supported and they've got, you know, don't have too much on their plates. Um, and can just get the work delivered as well. Uh, Devil's Advocate, um, it's, um, it's quite an analytical process from my point of view, uh, and especially when, when working with the guys, that's what I pick up on. It's very analytical, looking at the bigger picture, um, making sure that every possible answer and every possible um, input that we need is being considered. Say for a pitch we come up with 10, 20 different route, uh, routes, um, figuring out which ones are most uh, applicable and which, which ones are the best. Um, that sometimes goes down a very, you know, st step back analytical approach um, and just rating things out of five. So you, you, t you pick five areas. Uh, you come up with a score for each one of them um, and then total the amount. So it's, uh, and from that, it doesn't end there, it gets combined with, you know, uh, the, 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 our gut feeling and their gut feeling from a design point of view. Um, so it's kind of those two streams that uh, define the strategic process um, at the start of a project. Um, those five values that we rate it against um, they get decided on the, the kind of requirements of the project. Uh, so they're going to be different each time. Um, and then as a group, we go through it. I mean, usually they're pretty even. Usually everyone's, you know, in good agreement on where that stands. I think, again, just looking at it from another p point of view, um, which, you know, what, what I call that as being devil's advocate. Um, I think that is quite key to a lot of these interactions um, and similarly with the 
from the client's point of view, how they see it, and ultimately we're designing we're designing for the client's clients. Um, so their stance and their viewpoint is very important to everything that gets you know designed. There's a lot of second guessing the brief um, and second guessing why something was written. So it's it's a lot of reading between the lines, um, which I tend to you know that's for me that's a very good way to distill the the very crucial information. Like if you if you've given a you know a brief that's a few pages, really what you're kind of trying to do is distill it down to very little. You know, one paragraph, two paragraphs of information, um, and if you, you know, go just going through that process will give you the the key, you know, uh, bits of information that you're looking for. Um, and I think, well, yes, they are, um, but it's not always a bad thing, um, as long as at the start of the project you start building up a good relationship, you know, that's part of the account uh, kind of management process as well. But if you start building up a good relationship, getting a feel for what the client wants, talking to them about how they see their customers, uh, that's very, very useful information and usually a lot more, a lot better information than the brief itself. It's fairly senior senior designer heavy in the studio. So I think it's very important with a small team, uh, with a high turnover of work, that people understand the strategy behind it and are able to design with that in mind. Because um, if, if you don't understand that, then you're kind of just designing for the sake of it, um, which in my opinion doesn't give you know very accurate results. Um, it becomes very subjective. The key piece of advice is to be able to have the oversight, you know, high level oversight across a project that can run from, you know, a few weeks, one week sometimes on one project, uh, and other projects can go on for months. Um, so have that oversight, um, and then at the same time, at the start of the week, you know, ideally on the Monday, go through the, 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 that week with the entire team, uh, figure out what needs doing there and then. Uh, so that you know, you only have to think about the big picture for one or two hours, and then the rest of the week you can just focus on getting a specific something done. Like we've got a big board on the wall that has got all the projects on it uh, and the tasks for that week, uh, so everyone can just look up from their computer and see, all right, I'm supposed to do this, um, and on Tuesday I'm working on that. Um, so just keeping it very simple. Um, I think is very useful, um, you know, and the physicality of that board on the wall is kind of a bit more memorable than having to log into a website and, you know, five clicks down and you find your task for the day, which is, you know, people, not everyone does that. Mm -hmm.